Growing up as a hang loose surfer contributed to me having a relaxed attitude about life. I benefited from this by never stressing over much, enjoying the moment, and learning how to play whatever cards were in my hand. And although this zen-like attitude is sought after by some, praised by many, the Lord seems to encourage a different heart and a different attitude. 2 Chronicles 26 is sandwiched between chapters of intentional planning, work, and order. From organizing the priest in chapter 23 and 24, the musicians in 25, and devising the military divisions of chapter 27. And right in the middle is 26, consisting of the organization and the assignment of gatekeepers, treasures, and officials absolutely not the most thrilling chapters to read, but critical to the health and function of Israel practically and spiritually. No doubt the Lord is directing this order, but doesn't seem like he's micromanaging it. He allows King David to delegate and assign as he sees fit. And the men he describes as being able men, capable men, uh, men of great ability, each is entrusted with responsibility to perform. The gatekeepers didn't worry about the officials, what they were doing. The treasurers weren't really too concerned with what the officials did. Each was given their own tasks, their own responsibilities. No one questioned or complained about their duties, but carried them out for the Lord, for the King, and for Israel. Now, through the years, I've grown up to love and appreciate God's design, His order, His delegation. Well, we see it in his creation, from the solar system down to the electrons perfectly revolving around the nucleus of an atom. God gives us order in morality, government, and society. There, there's an order in the word. He establishes order in the home and spiritual order in the church. And within this order, he commissions us to great responsibility and expects us to seek him for direction. And although we can each rest, in Jesus' finished work upon the cross, and we can know that the Lord will meet us and meet our needs, He beckons us. He beckons each of us to put our hands on the plow of life, be intentional, work hard, and thrive where the Lord assigns us in His order. As soldiers in the Lord's army, ambassadors of the gospel, ministers of His love, gatekeepers of the truth, we each have been entrusted and assigned to an order that has eternal ramifications. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.